What if I told you that you could learn to code faster than 90% of beginners and actually enjoy it? Most people watch endless tutorials, take notes like they're prepping for a PhD, and then do nothing. I'm gonna show you how to skip that trap and build real projects, like games, apps, or even a secret messaging tool that'll make you a coder before you finish your next Netflix binge. But first, let's talk about why most people crash and burn trying to learn this skill that can literally change your life. The problem, why most people fail at coding. Let's be real, learning to code feels like trying to read alien hieroglyphs. You start a tutorial, get hyped, and then, bam, you're lost in a sea of syntax errors and jargon. The biggest mistake? People treat coding like a textbook subject. They watch hours of videos, memorizing loops and variables, but never build anything. It's like learning to cook by reading recipes and never touching a stove. You don't need a PhD in Python to make something cool. You just need to start. And I learned this the hard way. When I was in high school, my friends and I decided to make an encrypted messaging app. Sounds fancy, right? It was just a janky Python script that scrambled messages, and we'd send them over WhatsApp like we were in a spy movie. The code was a mess. But that project taught me more than any tutorial ever could. Why? Because I was forced to figure it out. Step 1. Start a project the second you learn something new. Here's the deal. The moment you learn a new coding concept, like a loop or a function, stop the tutorial and start a project. Don't wait. Don't keep watching like you're cramming for a test. Learned how to print, hello world, cool. Make a program that prints a silly story. Learned lists, build a to-do list app. The trick is to apply what you know immediately. Pro tip, start with Python or JavaScript. Python's simple and you can literally build anything, games, apps, even AI. JavaScript's a must because every coder eventually stumbles into it, especially for web stuff. Pick one and don't overthink it. If you're sitting there debating languages like it's a life or death choice, you're already procrastinating. I'd choose Python, by the way. Step two, build the biggest project your skills allow. Once you've got the basics, say loops, functions, and maybe some data structures, don't make another calculator app. Go big, build the most ambitious thing your tiny skill set can handle. Want to make a game, a website, a bot that spams your friends with memes? Do it. You'll quickly realize you have no idea what you're doing. And that's the point. When I made a mobile game about merging and discovering eggs, think Pokemon meets Cookie Clicker, I barely knew how to code. I had to Google everything from graphics to collision detection. It was ugly, but I learned more in a month than I did in a year of tutorials. The secret? Struggle is your teacher. Step three, leverage tools and communities, but don't cheat. Here's where most people screw up. They either rely on AI like ChatGPT or Grok to write all their code, or they're too proud to ask for help. Both are dumb. Use AI as a tutor, not a crutch. Don't know how to save a file in Python? Ask Grok, but always understand the code you're using. Copy-pasting without learning is like cheating on a test you're gonna fail later. Better yet, join a community. Find coder friends, online, or IRL. In high school, my buddies and I would code together, roast each other's terrible scripts, and somehow end up with working projects. Communities keep you accountable and make coding less lonely. If you're coding solo and feeling like a failure, you're probably just one Discord server away from a breakthrough. Step four, embrace the chaos of learning by doing. Coding is messy. Your first projects will look like they were written by a caffeinated toddler, and that's fine. Every error message, every Google search, every why isn't this working is making you a better coder. If you're not failing, you're not learning. So what's it gonna be? A game, a website, a bot that tweets bad jokes every hour? Pick something that excites you and start today, not tomorrow. Not after you feel ready. If you're waiting for confidence, you'll be waiting forever. Here's the truth. Coding isn't just a skill, it's a superpower. With a few lines of Python or JavaScript, you can build games, apps, websites, or even a business that changes your life. But you don't get there by watching tutorials or dreaming about it. Build something ridiculous, fail spectacularly, and keep going.